pretty cool. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Oh, we were talking about this coral we have over here. Wait, hold on, what was that? It's a coral. It lives almost a hundred times more than a human's lifespan. Why do people need them? What is it? And is it an animal? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's first talk about what a coral is. Hi, we, we are, are the Ridge Boss. Boss. My name is Shanika. I'm Anthony. I'm Arush. I'm the Ridge. We are taking part in a competition called FLL, or First Level League. You must be wondering what FLL is. Well, FLL introduces youngsters to STEM concepts early on, progressing from learning competitive application, fostering skills in learning, confidence, and teamwork. FLO introduces you to three different sections, Discover, Explore, and Challenge. We are currently on the FLO Challenge part. For this year's innovation project, we decided to solve the problem of coral reefs. We are excited to teach you guys about all the things we have learned about coral reefs. Let's, Let's dive in! Coral reefs are underwater structures made of calcium carbonate that are built by tiny sea animals called polyps. Coral reefs provide homes for up to 25% of all marine life. Also, coral reefs serve as a natural barrier between waves, floods, and storms. This helps prevent loss of life, property damage, and erosion. Wow, you guys really know your stuff. Some problems coral face are pollution, overfishing, and a warming climate. These are just some of the many ways that people damage reefs all around the world every day. So how can we help fix this? Helping coral reefs is actually easier than you think. One main way is to donate to one of the many sources that are helping the same cause. It's quick, fast, and makes a massive difference. You know what else is massive? The Great Barrier Reef, one of the biggest coral reefs in the world. Oh. Whether you know it or not, we are all contributing to the downfall of humans. What are you yapping about? Humans are significantly contributing to coral reef extinction through activities like pollution from land runoff, destructive fishing practices, coastal development, and physical damage from boat anchors and recreational activities. One main disease that corals are facing is called stony coral tissue loss disease. We the problem, we the solution. To help stop coral extinction, we can reduce their carbon footprint by using less energy, choosing sustainable transportation, and consuming less meat. Wow, I didn't know coral reefs were this important. Now I know so much about them. We hope you enjoyed our video about coral reefs. Check out our other videos on our channel. Also, be sure to take a look at our website that's linked in the description. You can find our innovative solutions over there. Don't, Don't forget, forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. watching.